Hey guys, I wanted to show you a quick video of how to do the medical machine game. Hopefully that'll help you get through the other ones also as we're going through these the next few weeks. Um, so you'll log into your Endeavor account. And then once you come to this screen, you'll choose play on the one that you are trying to go through. Let it load. Good morning, doctor. Today, you'll be meeting with patients and figuring out how to help them. It's going to It'll read it out loud to you if you have your speaker Keep on. Keep an eye on their satisfaction bars to see how well you're doing you as it goes That's going to tell you to click on the different things. It looks like this patient is filling out his intake forms. Click on his insurance and I... You're going to click through and do what it tells you to do. <laughs> And hit next. It'll tell you some more information. Good job. This patient intake form. So pre assessment. This is your first care. assessment. You'll need to the read the questions the payment. and it answer also them. Be part of the patient file for you, the doctor, to review. The nurse is getting ready to call back your first patient. Before you meet them, let's see how much you know about the process that a doctor goes through in order to diagnose a patient. You're running late. Keep going. Gather all the things you'll need in order to help your patients. Good job. As you learn about your patients, key data will be gathered on your tablet. Before you meet your first patient, take a look at his patient file to see what Learn more about your patient by clicking on the red flags. Reviewing patient files. Drag the items on the right onto your patient to learn more about what's going on. This information will help you. This past week, I've just been so tired. I can't get anything done. Here's the reflexes are normal. I've already gone through this whole thing, so that's why I'm doing this quickly. You'll need to make His sure you're reading and feel swollen. hearing the information as you're going Great. through. Great. You've gathered a lot of data on your patient. Use your patient notes to help you select one potential hypothesis below. It's important to use all of the for your patients, your x-rays use a small amount of radiation, echocardiogram, computed tomography. Your patient is shown. Click the printer to print out an order. Great job. You examined your patient as you look at your next. Use the available tools to assess your patient. Hi. There is a lot. Since we let patient comp using what you know, select your hypothesis below to inform your next steps. Great. Great job. Print the image. That went well. Here's Drag and drop the tools onto your patient to learn more. I just left.
replay. You feel a small lump. Using what you know, select the hypothesis below to inform your next steps. Great. Now it's time to select which diagnostic. That went well. You exist. As a doctor, you need. You guys will be able to look at these and read through them. It gives you more information about different careers. And then you can either choose to like the career or dislike the career. Great. Your patients completed their scans and the radiologist just sent back the findings. Before looking at each of your patients, there are results, some videos in here that you have to watch. Used to get the imaging. To figure out what his imaging is telling you, you need to compare. Click on the differences in your patient scan. The left ventricle is enlarged. This is a sign of heart failure. This shows a weak heart muscle. His heart can't pump blood efficiently with a weak heart. Now it's time to take all the information you've gathered from the patient history, physical exam. Click on each of the three. When an injury, as a general, read over your patient's file and then choose to send your patient home, provide treatment. Patient Hill's x ray is up next. Click on the differences in your patient scan to in There is some swelling here. There is a clear fracture on our tip. Read over your patient's file and then choose to send your patient home. Provide patient Mendoza. Click on the differences in your patient scan to interpret the radiologist's findings. This shows a minor linear skull fracture. These types of fractures in adults can heal on their own. This is a normal variance with no signs of internal bleeding. Read over your patient's file and then choose to send your patient home. This is a good choice. Doctors need to do their job. Click to reveal what your patients have to say about you. Patient feedback is always helpful. What did you like best about this activity? So you will have to answer this. Great. Keeping the medical office on budget, organized, and running efficiently is vital to keeping the doors open. And, and it's well, going to give you another career take information. Take a look at thing. how you can build these skills into a career. About a career. You can read through it, and then it gives you the option again to either like the career or dislike the career. Great work today as you met with patients and collected data to make informed patient care decisions. You also explored careers in the medical field. The skills you practice today will serve you well in lots of different career fields. But before you leave the doctor's office, let's see what you've learned.
So yours will actually show you the results of your quiz right there when you're done taking it. You went next. And then it should bring you back out to the main screen. And where your, what your percentage was, and it gives you the option to retake the assessment. So if you didn't like the grade you got for that assessment, you can click on retake the assessment and take it again. Um, I hope this little video kind of helps you out with how to play through and making sure you're getting all the way through the assignments. Um, it'll be very similar for the other ones you're doing, the one you're doing this week and the one you'll be doing um, next week and the week after, like that. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye. Have a